What's up guys, it's Jordy here for Cinecom.net and Painted Titles is a collection of 10 title templates for Premiere Pro and After Effects. You've got both a basic and a premium pack and you are watching the premium pack tutorial video. So maybe you're watching this video because you've already purchased the premium pack, then thank you so much for doing that, you're supporting the project very much. Or you're maybe watching this video because you want to have a sneak peek of what the premium pack can do. So let's dive into it. The first thing you want to do is actually get the fonts that we were using in the title templates. And we were using the fonts from Typekit, which is a free service if you have a Creative Cloud subscription. And I'm going to assume that you have. And if you haven't, then no worries, you can also use any font from yourself. But I do recommend actually to use our fonts because they fit kind of nicely in the design. So what you want to do is go to your web browser and go to typekit.com. You can find also a link to it in the description below. And if you aren't logged in yet, then you can do that right now. Just log in with your Adobe Creative Cloud account. And after you're logged in, you will also see the same page as I do right now. Then you can just go to search Typekit and right here, type in balloon. Because we were using the balloon URW. Click on that and that will, oops, click on that and that will bring you to the balloon font page. There we go. Then on the right here, just click on use fonts and make sure that you select all the fonts. So show everything. Also select extra bold so that we've got three fonts here and then just click on sync selected fonts. Just wait a while and after some seconds you will see a pop-up coming in. There we go, three fonts were added and now we can start using the templates. Let's go back to our explorer or finder if you're using a Mac because what we want to do is actually import this After Effects file inside After Effects. You can also just open this or you can also import it into an existing project. And that's what we are going to do. So right here, I've got already After Effects open and I'm going to go back to my Explorer, make my window a little bit smaller because I'm just going to drag this file into my project panel like that. And that will import the project. If you're missing any fonts here, then After Effects will prompt you to that, but don't worry too much about it. As I said before, you can just use any font that you'd like. So then just open up that folder and you will find some more folders in here. And there's one that says adjust here. These are the 10 title templates. And I'm just going to open up the first one, for example. Now you will notice that they will kind of load pretty slow and that's because of all the nice effects. We've got some 3D stuff going on in here. So you can also set your rendering here where it says full, just set that to a quarter or something else and that will speed up the rendering a little bit more. Now to change the text, it's pretty easy. Just double click on the text and change it to anything you want. This is called Jordy, which is my name. And you can change the font, of course, from the character window right here. Just set it instead of balloon, set it to something else in here. But I'm just going to keep it for now. Now we've created something convenient to change the colors of the text and the background. And that is with this adjustment layer right here. It also says here, adjust color here. Just click on that layer and head over to your effect controls up there. And from here you will find actually all the properties of the elements in that project. So for the text, you can change the color right here. It also says the name there, text. And just change that to, let's say, some reddish color like that. And then select a different color for the brush stroke if you want so. That is this one here, the background. Click on that and maybe make that a little redder as well. That's up to you. And then we've got some more options here. We've got a paint splatter, a paint spot. And if you're not sure what everything is, then just change the color and you will see what it does. So I'll just change this as well here. As you can see now, the background is changing as well. And the spot perhaps also. There we go. And now we've got a more of a blood scene going on here. And this is how you can use these templates. As you can see, you can change all the colors. Now, perhaps you would also like to add a different background. Well, in your layers here, you can see background. And if we're going to disable that, you see that we have a transparent background now. So you can perhaps put this onto on top of a video or something or just add any other JPEG file or anything in here that you would like to have as a background. Now, as you know, you also have access to all these source files, and this is probably more for the more advanced users, but if you go back to the pack that you've downloaded, then you will find a folder here called footage. And if you're going to double click on that, you can find the background file here as well, but also all the elements that were used. So we have the paint splatters right here, that were animated and that you can also use in any project or also your Photoshop project and InDesign project anywhere that you want and also even got the PSD so all the Photoshop files so you can get creative and make anything that you want and in the future we will also definitely make a tutorial on how we've created these animations so you can create something of your own 
And if you've purchased the premium pack, then you have access to all the source files, which allows you to create all these custom animations. So that will be pretty cool. So you can find more information in the description below or in the card somewhere up here. If you have any more questions, then leave them in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching.